A lot of history between the two teams in our game of the week. Kossuth and Amory, they're getting ready to compete for a spot in the 3A North Half Championship. WTVA's Matt St. Jean joining us live now in Kossuth with a preview. Yeah, Emily, there is a lot of overlap between these two programs. Amory head coach Brooks Dampier played for Kossuth. His dad, of course, was a longtime assistant and head coach here in Aggie Land. And Brooks, he was actually the manager of the team that current Kossuth head coach Brian Kelly played on. One thing that Kelly could not get done during his playing career was get Kossuth to a North Half Championship. In fact, his senior year, his team was undefeated going into this very game against Amory, and they lost, a fact that he has not forgotten. My senior year, we had the same opportunity playing in this same round for the same week uh, against the Amory. Uh, so it's, uh, it might have been 23 years ago, but I mean, it's, it's a big game. Uh, our community knows it's a big game. Our school, everybody, this is be big. Uh, and our players know how big this is. And the players have risen to the occasion so far this season. Nine straight wins after starting the season one and two. And both of those losses were just by one point. According to junior lineman Trace Wegman, this is the most focused team he's been on. So much so, he didn't know they had the streak going at one point in the season. Well, we lo I lose track a lot because once you start winning, you just keep on going, I reckon. Just play hard, you get good results. Kossuth graduated a lot of their skill players on offense last season, but they received a huge boost when quarterback Jack Johnson moved to town from Tennessee. The junior was named the most valuable player of the division for his performance this season. It's been great. Uh, I really love it. The coaches, players, all. Everybody's got the same goal, wanting to win, play as a team. So A bunch of people come to these games and support us, so it's fun to play in front of them and you know, give them a good game to watch and hopefully we'll win it. Kickoff from the frozen tundra here in Kasuth. We'll have it in just over a half an hour. We'll have highlights from this game as well as all the other key games. We'll see who can punch their ticket into the North Half Championships next week coming up at 10 o'clock on Friday Night Fever. Reporting in Kasuth, Matt St. Jean, WTVA 9 Sports.